It's one of Jordan's largest and busiest rubbish dumps. Around 200 tons of waste is brought to Al Hussainiyat every day. A large portion of it comes from the nearby Zatari refugee camp, which is home to around 80,000 Syrians. Hassan Mohammed fled the fighting in the Damascus countryside four years ago. He's been working here ever since. This job is good. We're always busy and I can make around $500 a month to help support my family. Before the war in Syria, Al Hussainit handled around 70 tons of waste a day. After years of operating at three times its capacity, the dump is now nearly full. It's a similar situation at other landfills across Jordan. But it's not just an influx of hundreds of thousands of Syrian refugees that's causing Jordan's rubbish crisis. Some also blame the government's failure to develop sustainable solutions to treat waste. Jordan's trash crisis is made worse by a lack of recycling, with less than 10% of rubbish reused. But efforts are being made to try and change that, and Syrian refugees are helping to lead the way. At Zathri, the financial potential of waste separation is being harnessed here. This recycling centre was set up by the UK-based charity Oxfam. Here, Syrian refugees, many who worked in waste management in Syria, help collect, sort and treat trash from the camp and surrounding areas. The rubbish is then sold to local companies that trade in reusable material, which helps create jobs for refugees and limits the solid waste sent to landfills. Jordan's recycling sector is characterised by a high degree of informality. Jordan's losing out on a lot of key economic opportunities that they could actually be building on by engaging and building on their recycling sector. Jordan continues to send around 2 million tonnes of rubbish to its landfills every year. And while the government is looking at a law which would improve waste management and allow for more involvement of the private sector, it isn't likely to go before Parliament anytime soon. So for now, the trash will continue to pile up. Imtiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Mufraq in Northern Jordan.